And now the agent for Hurst has come out and said he will file a grievance against the Patriots that according to NFL rules, the club should not have been able to release his client because he was injured. The agent claims that at the request of the team, Hurst has been playing with a bulging dick disc in his neck since the start of the season. A Patriots spokesperson declined comment on the matter. Others that are banged up from around the NFL. Jeff Hostetler re-injured his left shoulder on this hit by Chad Hennings late in the first half of the Cowboys-Raiders games. Status to be addressed on Wednesday. Giants quarterback Dave Brown left in the fourth quarter after having the win knocked out of him in the game against the Eagles. As far as the Lions quarterback is concerned, Scott Mitchell. Sprained right ankle when Jim Flanagan rolled into him. Status is day to day. Eagles quarterback, Rodney Peet. <laughs> you said it, suffered a bruised hip flexor in the first half of Sunday's Eagles. Giants game did not return. He's expected to be back Sunday against the Redskins. Mike Mamula, his teammate, suffered a dislocated left shoulder. He's expecting to miss two weeks. <laughs> Jaguars quarterback, Mark Brunel, on this fine play, running into the end zone for the touchdown. Straightened his right hamstring, status uncertain. Man, there is nothing wrong with these injuries. Yeah. This is not funny. This is serious stuff. Finally, the Bengals' James Francis broke a bone in his lower left leg. Francis is out for the year. My apologies. Not laughing at the injured. I think there's no video of that. Other... <laughs> Sorry. Other injuries, thank you. Other injuries without the pretty pictures. Strickland knee. Jones, the Cowboys' leading tackler. Groin, Minter, his shoulder. Lockman, foot sprain, and <laughs> The ankle sprain, and thanks for your help, Keith. Something, something wrong, perhaps? All right, now to the haven of college sports where...